Hi, I'm Mark and I'm a technical consultant at Eggplant. At Eggplant, we believe the future is digital. To achieve this digital reality, businesses focus on three metrics, time, cost and quality, when delivering great products and services. Software development and the testing of these products have always been a time-bound activity. With consumers demanding flawless digital experience, Eggplant addresses the time and quality metric with artificial intelligence, machine learning and robotic process automation. These advancements allow our customers to deploy software with the most efficient use of their resources. And as for quality, I'm going to take you through a few processes that make age-old testing concepts so much easier by explaining terminology such as the model or the digital twin, test case creation, coverage, and bug hunting, all with the aim of delivering a frictionless digital experience. Let's begin with our digital journey with Eggplant. So the first thing that we want to do is understand the application and build what we call a digital twin. That's essentially a model of the business process, the workflow, or the application that we're testing. Afterwards, then we start understanding different permutations, the different routes in the applications, recreate different scenarios, for example, a user pressing the back button or rotating their mobile device. And then once that's done, we're able to start automating the execution using our automated algorithms for bug hunting and coverage. It allows us to visit areas of the application that wouldn't necessarily be touched through manual testing. After this, then we start attaching our testing assets. For example, your eggplant, your Selenium scripts, maybe a database call or an API call using our REST and SOAP APIs. And then once that's done, we are able to actually start automating the testing of this application. And then, as a result, through 100 runs, we'll have start building an insight to the application. And through our insights, we're able to provide business metrics in terms of the coverage of the application, the number of bugs existing, and getting to a point where we can actually accurately forecast when you can possibly release your application. Let's start with the digital twin. The digital twin is essentially uh, key parts of the application or your business process, your workflow, broken down to key elements, which are states and actions. A state is essentially a page on the application and an action, the silver box here, is what an interaction a user can do on the website. Now, the start state here is when the test begins. The exit state down here and when we can make a purchase is where the test can end. And any time in between that, is essentially a test case that we've auto-generated. And what drives this test case is our coverage and bug hunting algorithms. Data that we've collected from each run, which the machine learning algorithms go back into, learn from, pull out what they think is best to test, and go forth and execute those runs. The first engine I want to talk about is coverage. Coverage being a traditional testing metric within the industry is a key idea of where the application is in relation to its release. Now, with an eggplant, we're able to actually look at all the previous runs and the engine's able to identify where it needs to go and visit. So now I've just completed an execution in my model, I can then go and view the coverage map. The coverage map tells me essentially where it's been to before. The darker the blue, the more times the engine's visited this particular area, and the lighter the color, obviously it needs to go to more. Now, traditionally, we'd only focus on our happy paths, but what the engine's trying to do is visit those areas of the application we've never been to before, recreate those scenarios that we haven't got the time to reproduce, and then try and test all the application in a quick and timely manner. The next engine I want to talk about is bug hunting. So as you can see from my model, I've got two bugs, one here and one over here. And what the engine's going to do is it's going to remember the exact journey it took to find that particular bug. It's going to store the data, it's going to store the particular route, and then what's going to happen in future iterations, future test executions, the engine's going to try and recreate that bug, but maybe a slight different variance, maybe a different route, maybe different data, to try and re-trigger that bug again. And for us to actually gain understanding, how's that bug occurring? How can we recreate it in order to give it back to development, to create a fix, but all in all speed up the whole release cycle? So now that we have bug hunting and coverage working for us, how do we tune those specific elements in order to really understand what is important to the business? Eggplant allows you to actually start tuning it by attaching tags and test cases, your business critical paths, things that are important to the business to ensure that the application is working as expected. Tags allow us to go through the application, through the model, 
and understand similarities between different areas of the application. For example, here we found the bug. I had tagged it with tag A. The engine will look and see if there's any other areas that have been tagged with tag A and go and test it with a similar scenario that recreated this original bug to see if that particular area is clean. The final thing to do is attach your testing assets to your digital twin using our Fusion engine and then connect to your system under test which could be a, de a desktop machine or mobile device that it connects using RDP and VNC to start the test execution. And once we've completed the test execution, we're able to provide you with insights such as coverage, we're able to forecast at what point you'll be able to release the application. Then the bugs, all the bugs that have occurred in the digital twin, we're able to show you how they've evolved in all the iterations. And then the test cases, all the business critical test cases that you've imported into AI, we're able to show you how many times they've passed and failed, giving you a full overview of the application. And using this data, we're able to predict the score that you would achieve if you were to release in the App Store at that particular point. So I hope you found this informative. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to eggplant.io. And thanks for watching.